we're going to be making an op art star. Optical illusion is something that tricks the eyes. So we want to create a star that looks like it has some form. It's not just completely flat on a two-dimensional surface. To do that, we'll add some curved lines and some shading. But the first thing we need to do is get our drawing planned out. You can either print out this example that I have for you on Google Classroom, or you can go on Google and find a star template, and then just draw it on your paper really large. You want most of your picture to be star. We're going to add a grid in our background. To do that, you need a ruler or some kind of straight edge. If you don't have a ruler, find a folder, cut it, and use the half that you did not cut as your straight edge. Okay. Line up your ruler with the bottom of your paper so you know that it's straight. And then just begin adding vertical lines. Move it over about three quarters of an inch. You don't need to get precise on this. Just keep them evenly spaced apart. And I like to move this way so that I can see the line before it. Now, do not go through your star. Okay, when you hit your star, stop, jump over it, and continue your line. Move it over. Stop, jump over it, and continue your line. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to do the same thing, but go horizontally across my paper. Line up the ruler with the edge, and just go across. Remember to stop when you hit the star, jump over it. I do not want lines going through your star. Those lines are going to be curved and that's what's gonna help with the optical illusion effect. And remember, you're doing this in pencil in case you make a mistake so you can erase it and you're drawing it lightly. Don't dig into the paper. Okay, so we have our checkerboard in the background. Now we need to create our lines for the star. To create an optical illusion, we need to now curve these lines so it looks like it's popping out towards us. Flat lines are going to make it look flat. Curved lines are gonna have the appearance of it coming out towards you. So what you want to do is you're gonna have curved lines going to the right and curved lines going to the left. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to pick up two of the vertical lines that I already have and I'm just going to curve them. And now I'm going to go to my left. Now what I want to do is I want some horizontal curved lines. I always draw really lightly. See how I made some messes? And that's why you have to draw lightly so you can straighten up those little messes. This one looks a little flat. I want to curve, so I'm going to curve it right there. And there we go. Now what you're going to do is you're going to turn this into Google Classroom. I'm going to check your lines to make sure you used a ruler in your background and that you have curved lines inside your star. If I give you the okay, then you can go on to the next step. Otherwise, make your corrections and then you can go on to the next step.